I'm Ian Bartholomew from Noble9, and today I'm going to show you how to validate your open SLO files with Oslo. Oslo is a CLI tool for validating open SLO config files against the open SLO spec. So as a prerequisite, we want to make sure that we have Go installed. So here we're just going to double check. And next we're going to want to clone the repo for Oslo. There we go go. Next we're going to dive into that directory we just cloned and then we're going to install Oslo via go get. Now we have Oslo available to us and just going to double check that here. And I'm going to just clear off the screen. Now in the Oslo project, we also we have a number of uh, test files that you can uh, play around with and see what it, validating a valid and invalid file looks like. To start off with, we're going to take a look at what a valid service looks like. Here you can see that a service definition is pretty minimal, not a whole lot to it. So if we go ahead and use Oslo to validate it, you notice it's it validated as a subcommand to Oslo. So if you run that, it will come back as valid. Uh, we also have a invalid service defined here to see what it, so you can see what it looks like when you have something uh, invalid come back. And if you notice the API version here is foo, which is a invalid uh, value for that. So if we try and validate that file, we get an error back that it is an unsupported API version. So now I'm going to clear that off. Um, we also in there have some uh, test valid SLOs. Uh, we'll take a look at a ratio based one first and you can see that the SLOs are a bit more complex than services and again this is a ratio based SLO and you can see in the objectives block there we have ratio metrics defined and if we go ahead and validate that it will come back as valid uh, clear that out and now uh, to show one more example of validation I'm going to edit one of the files and so we'll bring up a threshold based SLO and you can see uh, here in the indicator block now we have a threshold metric defined so now if we go ahead and validate that you see that it's valid and now we're going to edit it and just double check, you can see here we're going to edit the budgeting method. Right now it's defined as occurrences. We'll go ahead, change that to something wrong. I'm going to change that to foo. Now, just to show you that it is now, in fact, changed, you can see that it's foo. We're just going to run our validation, and you'll see that we get an error back because it is expecting budgeting method to be one of the valid values, which occurrences is one of. And now, if we revert our changes, you can see now that budgeting method is back to occurrences and we run validate again, it comes back as valid. And that's it. Thank you for watching.